Hi everyone, it's your boy Ray. Welcome to a very late vlog. <laughs> very late vlog. I didn't feel like recording on the weekend or even recording yesterday because, well, summer vacation. Still on that summer vacation grind. But today, uh, June 30th is uh, when I'm recording this video. Basically, I'm gonna record this, render it, and then upload it onto YouTube when it's done. But uh, today's vlog, marks the end of the year three vlog lists or the, the year three playlists uh for this whole um i honestly don't know the direction of what where i wanted to take my vlogs i kind of wanted to make it real life but yeah it started to be more about i guess the body and stuff so i originally started vlogging around i think june or july 2012. when i first got into exercise it was around 2008 and I just wanted to lose the weight. I was in a really depressive um, period because of you know just unemployment after college. Couldn't really find a job, and I needed something to occupy my mind other than you know playing video games, which obviously I'm still good at. But I couldn't just wallow away in a virtual world. So I really saw that my body was my body weight was getting out of control. So I wanted to get back into um, exercise, which was around like 2008. And once I got into that, I went through the whole weight loss phase from 2008, 2009. And you know, I felt good where I was, but that was just, you know, willpower, you know, not really watching diets. I really didn't really know about like how to program a workout or even how to follow nutrition. So that was just all willpower. And I hit that wall. And I didn't know what to do, so I decided to bulk up again. Fast forward, you know, four, three, four years later, like I kind of almost gained the weight back again. But uh, I wanted to lose all that and be a much more, I guess, slimmer person, I guess. So I wanted to get back to what a lot of people would like to achieve is to get back to their old high school self. And so for me, it's like, huh. If I'm just going to slim down, I'm just going to be basically back to my high school self. When I was going through that period, I was really thinking about bodybuilding. So that's roughly around like 2011, uh, early 2012. And that's when I started getting into like observing like YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. And um, it really caught on to me that, you know, like a lot of people, if you want to get motivated, you want to look at other people. And so that's what kind of motivated me is just watching a lot of youtubers and their workouts and their motivational stuff that really kind of gave me the jump start like i really needed to think about how to work out i really need to think about how to diet and roughly enough fall of 2012 that's when i decided hey well, why not try and train for bodybuilding and so that's the journey of pretty much this whole uh vlogs that I had here because I like I originally intended to kind of make it more like a real life type of thing and just tracking my weight loss from along the way and however long that takes or if I ever get bored of doing vlogs but I kind of just kept with it because it was just like every day was a grueling day <laughs> as far as um, training and dieting because year one was my whole um, taste of what is bodybuilding like you know what is what's it like to train like a body what's it like to actually prepare and train for a show you know and then year two was all about going into you know another season but with that experience in mind like i had a lot of mistakes on me in that first year let's see what we can do to improve ourselves for you know these next couple of shows and year two for me was a very very like successful year and also keep this in mind guys and gals that i've been doing my own prep so every step along the way even though i haven't really represented it well in these vlogs i i learned a lot about exercise i learned a lot about nutrition i, I learned a lot about how to program things and know how to develop a program that works for me now um, I when I say that you know it's like oh man you know share me your secrets 
it's one of those things where it's it's not a type of like programming or not a type of like structure where I could actually give it out to people. It's just more like I just kind of figured out what works for me, you know. So I can't really shift this to other people, even though I probably give advice. It's just I'm not that type of person who can, or I'm gonna say type of person, but I'm not that person qualified to, you know, coach you yet. You know, I want to work towards that though. But uh, I'm still just a regularly normal person um, that just reads and research a lot about what he needs to do to get stuff done and that's what I wanted to do for this year three vlog is to figure out what I need to get done before I start competing again so year three has been this whole I guess re-education process um, I, I wanted to figure out you know how to maintain my strength how to get stronger um, it was a very eye-enlightening experience to really control my nutrition this time because this time I'm going to eat a lot of food, or at least this this whole time uh, for this off season, which lasted at least roughly nine months. I was going to eat a lot of food. In my mind, that kind of fucks with me because if I eat a lot of food, it's it feels like I'm just going to get fat again. But I'm controlling uh, my intake this time, which you know to me. You know, I knew I was going to have a lot of problems, so I kind of mentally treated this as like a contest prep as I went on. You know, it's a, it's a very um, re-educational process. It's like, don't be scared. Um, lift and heavy, don't be scared of the weight. So I'm going to try to bulk up. Don't be scared of eating a little bit more than what you should have. And I ate a lot more. But there have been days where it's like, I ate a lot of food, but either like my weight maintained or actually dipped in a little bit of weight. So yeah, it's a, I don't want to say once in a lifetime experience, but it's it's something different that uh, I started to see what was coming out. You know, it's been putting forth the work and putting forth the effort and it started to show. You know, a lot of friends uh, this past year uh, kind of looked at me like, where are you looking a little bit bigger? And like, okay, thank you. This was like, you know, uh, early in the off season, you know, when my weight was getting up to like the high, I don't know, the high 140s. But then when I started to get down to like the 140s, or yeah, the high 140s, you know, back in uh, earlier in the year, but when I started to drop down to the 140s, like, Ray, you look a little bit slimmer, you know, but you haven't lost the size. So I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right. So this whole year has been. Um, or this whole vlog year, I should say, like, not the whole year, but this whole year for um, this vlog period has been just a more boring but educational thing for me. So, this vlog marks the end of year three, and I will be starting year four, because year four is going to be really interesting. Uh, simply because I already started my contest prep already, and when I start up year four, I'm going to be in the middle of contest prep. And it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be de it's definitely gonna be fun. So I want to be able to capture that. I want to be able to capture a little bit more real life stuff uh, when it comes to um, this next playlist. And I also want to I also have some ideas that I want to do um, as I'm getting closer to the shows as well. So hopefully I bring up the quality in these vlogs just a tad bit and also reveal a little bit more about my life as well. Because to be honest, like if you if you have the stomach to watch the older vlogs, and which sometimes for me I don't really, uh, I kind of laugh at myself watching older vlogs. Um, I kind of, I'm very like a quiet person. I just kind of talk about the day. I don't really reveal too much about life, but I want to be more about that with this year four vlog. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> don't quote me on that. Actually, you're quoting me right now because I'm putting this on video. But yeah, I just want to. Um, make it a little bit more, I guess, lively. But it's going to be an exciting year because um, not only that I'm starting off my first show this fall, which, you know, traditionally I've been starting off my shows in the spring, but I want to do, like, a lot of firsts. A lot of firsts. And I don't know what that's going to entail, but you'll see once, uh, once it comes. All right? So uh, this is to, I want to say success, but this is to the end and start a new beginning. So, before I end this, I just want to say 
that I'm not going to throw out a vlog for next week, so I'm not going to start the year four playlist next week because I'm technically still on vacation. Even though uh, the summer quarter starts next week, I'm, my hours don't start until um, the next next week. So uh, next week, no vlog, but next next week, we'll start up year four playlist. All right? Okay. Stomach scrambling. <laughs> oh boy. So anyways, bye-bye. Peace out. This is the end of year three, and let's look forward to year four.